Warning, the following may contain sexual imagery, violence, and strong language. This may create a not safe for work environment. Viewer discretion is advised. Previously, at the Mountains of Badness, Issei was nearly killed, again, and is now a devil, apparently. Also, porn. And now, the continuation. Welcome at the Mountains of Badness, where I, Nightmare Alpha, present to you the Eldritch Abominations of Literature. We're now in episode 4, and it looks like we can finally put a pin in chapter 1. But first, we have to go through two more parts. So that will be fun, I guess. So let's begin our descent into madness for this week. Part 6 Nikadikimasu Author's note, this apparently means expression of gratitude before a meal. Well, thanks a lot for that, why not just say have a good breakfast or something like that. It's a translation. Wow, not even a minute in and we're already deep knee deep in bullshit. To my grandpa in heaven, right now, in our home, a beauty is drinking miso soup next to me. They are delicious, Okathama. Yeah, I thank you very much. Both my parents, who are sitting across from me, have a weird expression on their face. Grandpa, how I'm able to fix this weird atmosphere. It's my first time eating breakfast in this weird atmosphere, and I'm not sure what to do in this situation. I say, is the meal that Okasama made, eat it. Senpai says, with elegance, she's acting like an older sister. Y yes I replied quickly and started to throw the food into my mouth. Don't eat in such a vulgar way. Eat slowly so you can taste the food. This is the precious food that Okasama made for us. Senpai wipes with my mouth with her handkerchief. What is that? What kind of situation I'm in here? Well, apparently in, in a novel situation. Issei, Dad spoke to me with a trembling voice. You look quite nervous, Dad. So am I. Well, where did this lady come from? After that, Senpai put her chopstick down and bows her head. Oh my, I apologize for not introducing myself. I brought shame to the house of Grammary. Please allow me to introduce myself. Okasama and Otosama, my name is Rias Grammary. I am attend the same academy as Hyodo Kun Isekun. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Senpai smiles. Dads respond with a weird face. Is, is that so? That's amazing. <laughs> you are from a foreign country. Your Japanese is very good. Yes, due to my father's work, I have been living in Japan for a long time. Oh, it looks like Dad is convinced, but it seems like Mom, who's sitting beside him, isn't. Is Rias' son correct? Yes, Okasama. What kind of relationship do you have with Issei? <gasps> That's a good question. I can answer the whole situation from earlier. A answer? What the fuck? Mom is curious of her answer, but Senpai just continues to smile. We are just a senior and a junior who are quite close to each other, Okasama. That's a lie. Mom rejects the answer immediately. Of course she would. That excuse won't work, Senpai, since she saw the situation. That excuse won't work. Be, be, be because on the bed. He say said. He has nightmares, so I was just sleeping with him. Oh, now he has me. That's nice. Just sleeping together? B both of you were naked? 
Nowadays, people sleep naked when they sleep together, Okasama. That's a big lie. Yeah, that's is. You're amazing, Senpai. No, she isn't. But Mom becomes quiet after her words. Is that so? So people sleep together naked lately? Okasama, is that is, is all right? <laughs> is that all right? Sorry. You are okay with that? Then I realize that Mom's eyes look weird. They looked empty, as if there was if she was possessed by something. After that, Senpai whispers in my ear. I'm sorry. It looked like I would become troublesome, so I used my power. Power? Then I remember what she said earlier. I am a devil. Devil. Then this is also because of a devil's power? Well, that's a lame power for a devil. Senpai resumes eating her breakfast. Then I checked. Dad also had hollow eyes. Did she use her power on him as well? Oh my god, she's now creating a zombie army. A devil? What is going on? End of part 6. Part 7. Morning walk to the school. Um, uh, that's not a sentence, or is it? I'm not sure. Okay. I am walking toward school. But I'm having a hard time because of the way other students are looking at me. Ah, I thought you were used to that. That can't be helped. Next to me is our school's idol, Grammarie Senpai. Wow, she's the idol. You, you made it, bro. 10 out of 10. Would do it again. And I'm walking like her servant because I'm carrying her bag. Spoiler alert, you're already her servant. Why is someone one like him? Why is someone vulgar like him next to Ria Zonesama? I can hear the screams of both boys and girls from every direction. There are so some students who fainted because of a shock. Wow, we're not really sturdy. Is that bad? Is that bad for me to walk beside Senpai? Well, apparently. We walk through the school gate, and I'm split with Senpai at the entrance. I will send somebody and someone to get you. Let's meet again later, she says, while smiling. Send someone? What does she mean? I'm not quite sure. Well, she will send someone, isn't that clear? But I walked towards the classroom. When I open the door, everybody stares at me. Mm, used to that. Well, that's normal, since I was with Ria, senpai. Bang! Someone hit my head from behind. Then I turned around. Matsuda is staring at me. Motohama is beside Matsuda as well. Give me an explanation. Matsuda shouts while crying. From his expression, I can guess that he wants what, that what he wants to say. Until yesterday, we were the unpopular alliance, comrades. The unpopular alliance? Wow, that's the lamest gang name I ever heard. Issei, first of all, explain to us what happened after he split. Unlike Matsuda, who is furious, Motohama is acting all calm while fixing his glasses. All through, his eyes are really sharp. Both of you are screaming me. Wait, scaring me? Oh, okay. But I laugh. And then ask them with a confident voice. Guys, you... Have you ever seen real tits before? Oh god. With that one sentence, both of them tremble in fear. Yeah, that's fearful. End of part 7. Part 8. After school. Hi, how are you doing? I look at the male student who came to see me through half-lidded eyes. The guy in front of me is our school's number one best-looking prince, Kiba Yutu. Oh, the prince has arrived. He captured the hearts of the girls in our school with a smile of his. With his smile of his? Okay. By the way, he's in the same year of, as me. Through, he is from a different class. Yeah, that explains why he wasn't there before. You can hear the girls screaming with joy from the classroom and the corridor. God damn it, it's just a human being. Get a hold of yourself. Shut up. That, it's that damn noisy in here. So what business do you have here? 
I reply in a dismissive tone voice, but Kiba responds without breaking his smile. I came here by the order of Rias Grammary Senpai. <gasps> With that one statement, I immediately understood why he's there. Yeah, because he outright stated it. I see. So, he is the person Senpai told me she would send. Oh, okay. So, what do you want to do with me? I want you to follow me. No! This time, it's the girl screams. No! For Hyodo and Kiba couldn't walk besides each other. You will get infected, Kiba kun. I want to grieve with Kiba. With Kiba Kunax Shoto pair! Oh god, they already have made the boy love thing. No! Maybe it's Shoto X Kiba Kun pair! The fuck? They are saying some weird crap! You're telling me, bro! Shut up! Seriously, shut up! Wow, the first time in my life I agree with Issei. Never happens again, probably. Ah, alright! I agreed to follow him. I will say this beforehand. I hate good-looking guys. Well, I don't hate look good-looking guys. I followed Kiba, who's already walking ahead of me. Hey, Issei, Matsuda shouts my name. Don't worry, friend, I'm not going to have a fight. That's right, you don't have to worry about me, pal. Yeah, funny. What are you doing with this DVD? Me, the molester, and the Udon! Matsuda says in a loud, out loud while holding the DVD up. Oh god. I then look out the window. I fall. What? That makes no sense. Okay. I followed Kiba, and the place we end up at, I at is the back of the school building. That's a weird sentence structure. In this place, which is surrounded by trees, there's a building called the Old School Building. Well, apparently it's the Old School Building because it's surrounded by trees. Apparently, it was used a long time ago. Uh, smart is, that's, called, that's why it's called Old. And there is no sign of people here. It's so creepy that it, that it is listed as one of the Seven Wonders of the School. You have Seven Wonders of the School? My school had only two. And I will not talk about that. The building looks very old, and it's made from wood, but there aren't any broken windows, and it's hard to tell if there are any broken parts from its appearance. It's old, but it isn't that bad. Old is not always bad, Issei. I'm old, and I'm not bad. <clears throat> Bucho is here. Bucho, okay, that means club president. Why not say president, you idiot? Kiba says, Bucho? Is he talking about Senpai? Huh? Bucho? Did Senpai belong to a particular club? Does this mean he is part of that club as well? It's getting even more mysterious. No, it's not. You're just making it up. Oh well, as long as I follow this guy, I will be able to meet with Senpai. We entered the two-story high building and went up the stairs. We went further into the building. Even the corridor looks clean. It seems like even the rooms that aren't used don't have a single speck dust in them. Well, somebody has a cleaning fetish, I guess. Then you think about old buildings, you expect them to be full of insects, spiderwebs and dust. No, I think they are full of interesting stuff. Well, insects, spider webs, and dust are also interesting, so... But I haven't seen any yet. So, they must be cleaning this building quite often. Wow, we spend a lot of time on cleaning this building, apparently, in this chapter. While I was thinking about these kinds of things, we seem to have reached our destination. Kiba stops in front of a particular classroom. I was shocked by the sign of the door that reads, Occult! Research club. Yeah, I'm also shocked about this. Occult research club? Yes, occult research club. I can also repeat sentences without any need. Just reading that name makes me wonder 
if not saying that the club sounds weird, occultismus is weird by default. But thinking that Rhea Senpai is the member of the Occult Research Club is... Why is that in italics? Okay. Bucho, I have brought him. Kiba waits for the approval through the wooden door, then Senpai replies, Yes, come in. It looks like Senpai is inside here. Yes, apparently. That's why she called you. God damn it, you idiot. Kiba opens the door, and I'm shocked when I follow him into the room, where are weird signs and words in every area of a classroom. Words? Just words and signs? The fuck? The floor, the walls, and the ceiling, they are covered with weird signs. And the one which stand out the most is the cycle drawn at the center of the room. It looks like a magic cycle that takes up most of the space in this room. Wow, okay, it's a magic cycle, I'm not sure why. I can feel something creepy and weird from it. Uh, okay. There are also a couple of sofas and desks in this room. Okay, I thought the most place was the magic cycle, but okay. Hmm, there is someone sitting on one of the sofas. It's a girl with a small build. Yeah, thanks for introducing her a bad way. I know her. I know that girl. Apparently you're a pervert, so I guess you know all the girls. That's the girl from first year. Tojo Koniko-chan. She's from first year, but she looks like an elementary student because of her childish face and small body. Oh my, lowly action confirmed. She's quite popular amongst a certain group of guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I can see that. She's popular amongst the girls as well, and is treated as a mascot for being cute. Okay. She's eating yokan quietly, that's a part of cake, I guess. She always has a sleepy expression. If I remember correctly, she's said to be very emotionless. Oh wow, it's an informed ability. Okay. She realizes we entered, and our eyes meet. This is Hyodo Isei-kun. Next, Kiba introduces her to me. Todo, Tojo Kaneko-chan bows her head. Ah, nice to meet you. I hope the robot voice is working. I also bow my head. After the greetings, she continues to eat her yokan. Okay. Hmm, it's just like the rumor says. Maybe she is a girl who doesn't talk much. Okay. Cha! Cha? Or is that char? I don't know. Make a Gundam reference if you want. This is the sound of water flowing from the back of a room. Ah, okay, no. Cha is not the sound that water makes. Is it the sound of a shower? Well, we can only guess. Then I realize there is a shower curtain at the back of a room. There was also a shadow on the curtain. Why do you have a shower in your club room? That makes not a nick of sense. It's the shadow of a girl. There is a girl taking a shower. Oh my god, his pants are exploding. Huh? A shower? Yes, that's my reaction. This classroom comes with a shower? Yes, I know, there is a shower. Now we have a shower overload. Q. There is the sound of the shower stopping. Pucho, take this. Huh? There is someone else besides her? Wow, he has one of the worst perceptions I have ever seen. I hear a girl's voice that doesn't belong to Senpai. Thank you, Akeno. Looks like Senpai is changing behind the curtain. I start to blush after remembering what happened this morning. Oh, blush is not the only thing that happens to you, Paul. Senpai, you sure had an impressive body. Looks like I won't be needing porn for a while. Uh, let's see how long he can survive that. What a lecherous face. Someone mutters. When I look in the direction of the voice, 
It's Tojo and Kaneko-chan. I look at her, but the little first-year student is just eating yokan. Is that so? So I have a lecherous face. I'm sorry, Ren. Ja! Ja? Okay. Then the curtain opens. The one standing there is Senpai in her uniform. She looks seductive with her wet hair. She looks at me, then smiles. I am sorry. I couldn't take a shower last night because I stayed at your place. So I took a shower now. Ah, is that so? But what's bugging me is that there is a shower in this room. Oh god, shower overload. When I look behind Senpai, there is someone behind her. Are you seriously? I am so shocked that I lose my words. Yeah, I'm losing my words already. Black hair in a ponytail. The ponytail which is said to be nearly extinct. Oh god. The person who is said to be the last person with a ponytail at our school. Okay, that's something impressive. That pretty face which is always smiling. The person with a Japanese atmosphere. What is a Japanese atmosphere and is that a... If that's an Oda Colonia or something like that? The, the one who is called Yamato Nadeshiko, even though she is a student and also one of our school's idols. Hijima Akeno Senpai. Oh my, there's even an author's note that explains what an Yamato Nadeshiko is. Impressive, impressive. The person who, along with Ria Senpai, is said to be one of the two great Onesamas. Oh, here you leave out that Onesama means older sister. Hmm, classy translation. The person who has idolized both male and female students. Arara! Hello, my name is Himeja Akeno. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sorry. She introduces herself politely with a smile. Her voice sounds fascinating. Oh, oh, my, my name is Hyodo Issei. N nice to meet you too. Even through I'm nervous, I greeted her. Yeah, that's the way, Paul. That's how you get a date. After Ria Senpai confirms when, that we finished introducing it to each other, she starts talking. Looks like everyone is here. Hyodo Issei-kun? No, let me call you Issei. <laughs> yes We, the Occult Research Club, welcome you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, yes. As a devil. Uh, Dad, Mom, looks like I'm in for something big. Here's your tea. Ah, thank you. I'm sitting on a sofa and Himeja-senpai made tea for me. I drink it quickly. It, it tastes good. Arara, thank you very much. Oh, God. Himija Senpai starts laughing very happily by saying, Woo hoo hoo hoo. Okay, that's scary. Kiba, Koneko chan, Ria Senpai, and I are sitting on a sofa surrounded the table. Uh, on the sofa surrounding the table, sorry. Akeno, you sit over there as well? Yes, Ucho. Himija Senpai sits next to Ria Senpai. Then everyone looks at me. Wh what is it? I'm getting nervous if everyone looks at me in a small place like this. Uh, don't worry, Paul. The well, first time always hurts. Well, that was a dark joke. I will not return this. Then Ria Senpai speaks. I will get to the point right away. We are all devils. Oh, you sneaky bastard. You, you definitely did, did get to the point right away. Yeah, apparently. Your expression says that you don't believe that I'm saying. Well, that can't be helped. You did see the man with the black wings last night, didn't you? She's right. If that wasn't a dream, then I did really see that. That's a fallen angel. They are former angels who served God. Thanks for introducing that concept. 
but they are beings who have fallen to hell because they had evil intentions. They are also the enemy of our de of us devils. Why? I don't know. So now when we are talking about fallen angels. Okay. Looks like we are entering a fantasy genre. I, the author is an idiot. We are devils. We have at war with the fallen angels since ancient times. We have been f fighting over the possession of the underworld, which is also known as hell in the human world. Don't worry, human world is basically hell, so there is no distinction. The underworld is split into two areas, one for the devils and one for the fallen angels. Wow, well, uh, Dungeons and Dragons makes the distinction between devils and demons, but okay. The devils form pacts with humans and receive their sacrifices and increase their strength. The fallen angels, on the other hand, control humans to eliminate devils. At this point, the angels come in to, come in to destroy these two other races on God's order, which creates the three forces. Well, you could just say where... Nah, I don't know. This has been going on since ancient times. You already said that. No, no, Senpai. That kind of story is hard to take in by a normal student like myself. Is this what members of a cult research club do? Uh, I don't know what they actually do. So, this conversation has has been the club's activity then. A cult research is just a camouflage. It's my hobby. It's actually a gathering place for us theme and for us devils. Shit, I wanted to say demons, but devils was my... Don't worry. Hold on! This is part of a club's activity, right? Amano Yuma! Hearing that name, I open my eyes in shock! Yeah. Where did she hear that name? That day, you were on a date with Amano Yuma, right? If you are joking around, then can you please stop now? I don't want to talk about this here. Oh god. There is anger in my voice. Well, not in my voice. That's because that topic is like a taboo to me now. When I talked about it before, no one believed me, and no one remembered her. Everyone said it must have been a dream. Then, it was all my hallucination. Nobody believed me, and no one remembered her existence. I hope the whiny voice helps to make the point that he's a whiny bitch. I don't know where she heard the story from, but I won't accept it if she says that it's all a cult. Instead, I will be mad. She existed, for certain. Rio Senpai says that clearly. Well, it looks like she tried to erase all of the existence around you. Oh, evidence, not existence. Sorry. Rio Senpai clicks her finger, and Himija Senpai takes out a photo. I am speechless after seeing who's in that photo. This is her, right? Amano Yuma-chan? Yeah, the person on the photo is my girlfriend, who I wasn't able to find anywhere. I had taken a photo of her with my mobile phone. That's called a cell phone, you idiot. But I had, but it had disappeared. The photo is a clear picture of her, and there are black wings growing from her back. This, this girl is, no, this is a fallen angel. She's the same kind of the one that attacked you last night. Oh, wrong, that was Rhea Senpai. Forget it. A fallen angel? Yuma-chan is a fallen angel? Rhea Senpai continues. This fallen angel came in contact with you to accomplish a certain goal. After she accomplished it, she got rid of any record and evidence regarding herself. Goal? Yes, to kill you. <gasps> Audible gasp! What the hell? Why did she have to kill me? Calm down, Issei. It could be it couldn't be helped. No, you were just unlucky. There are processors uh, who weren't killed. What do you mean unlucky? Is she saying that I'm just unlucky to be killed by Yuma-chan that day? Huh? 
killed, but I'm still alive. Still alive joke. I'm still here, like before. That day, you went on a date with her and went to the park, where you were killed with a spear of light. But I'm still alive, more than that. What? Why was I targeted? Yeah, there aren't any reasons for me to be targeted by her. Why do you have to be targeted by the fallen angels? The reason why she approached you is so she could check if there is a dangerous thing inside you. I'm not sure a penis could be considered a dangerous thing. She must have received a weak response from it. That's why she took her time checking you. Then she confirmed it. That you were a human who possessed a sacred gear. Sacred gear? I was familiar with that term. Sorry, you were a threat to us, so we decided to get rid of you early. If you want to hold a grudge, then hate the god who put the sacred gear inside you. That's what Yuma-chan said at the time. So there is a sacred gear inside my body. I would not call a penis a sacred gear, but okay, it's your decision. Kiba then speaks. Sacred gear is an irregular power that is bestowed to certain humans. For example, most of the people those names are recorded in history are said to be possessors of a sacred gear. They used the power of their sacred gear to record their name in history. Presently, there are people who possess sacred gears within their bodies. You know those people who play an important role worldwide? Most of those possess a sacred gear. Well, now I want to know what President Obama has for a secret for a sacred gear. Himaja Senpai continues after Kiba. Ria Senpai then continues to explain. Most of the sacred gears have functions that are only unusual usable in the human society, but there are exceptions like sacred gears that are treat that are treat to us, the devils and fallen angels. Issei, raise your hand. Huh? I have to raise my hand? Why? Do it quickly, Ria Senpai urges me to do. So I raise my left arm. Close your eyes and imagine the strongest thing that comes to mind. The strongest being? Son Goku from Dragon Ball? No, I don't include that, that's really in the text. Then imagine it and imagine that person in a particular pose where he looks the strongest. Uh, oh my god. I imagine Goku when he is shooting his Kamehameha. You really got away with including that? Is that r all right? Lower your arm slowly and stand up. I get up from the sofa and lower my arm. Now mimic the pose. That person you have to imagine is strong. Is it strongly, okay? You cannot hold back. Oh, I cannot hold back. Crap! Yeah, that's my that's my text. There are people around me, and I have to copy Goku doing Kamehameha at, at this age? You're only 15 or 16, I'm don't really sure if that's problematic. I'm too embarrassed to do it. Well, I will certainly not do it for you. Just because I'm closing my eyes doesn't mean that no one will laugh at me. Hurry and do it, Rhea Senpai urges me again. Oh, are you serious? Do I seriously have to do it? Apparently. Shit! Then look, it's Hudo Issei, first and last time doing Kamehameha. Kamehameha! Why did you have to say it out loud? I'm not sure. I said it while I had both my hand, my opened hands struck together and pushed them forward at chest height. This is the Kamehameha pose. I know this, bro. I know this for a long time. Now open your eyes. In place which is filled with demonic power. Demonic power? I thought it was devilish powers. <sighs> they cannot be consistent. The sacred gear will be able to appear more easily. I open my eyes, just like Ria Senpai tells me to. Flash! Aha! Uh -huh. Savior of the universe. Oh, sorry. 
that sometimes happens. My arm glowed! Wah! What is this? What is this? I don't know, it's a flash. Can I pull off Kamehameha now? Well, that would be copyright infringement. The light starts to take form and covers my left arm. After the light disappears, my left arm is covered in a red gauntlet. It is equipped with flashy looking objects. With a flashy looking object, sorry. It looks like a very fine and realistic cosplay item. Oh, okay. Well, then it's made out of plastic, I guess. The part that covers the back of my hand has a gem-like object embedded in it. Actually, it looks more like a jewel instead of just a gem. Okay, you know the difference between a jewel and a gem. That's impressive. What the hell is this? I screamed. I really sh I'm really shocked. Obviously, what is this? No, obviously, what is this? Sorry, bad sentence structure. I thought I did a Kamehameha, but instead I got an item on my arm that looks like something Henshin Heroes uses. Kamen Rider. Um, sorry, that comes out later. Uah, what is this? That's a sacred gear, and it belongs to you. Once it appears, you can use it anywhere and anytime as you will. Huh? This red gauntlet is a sacred gear? Yay! I'm not sure what this means. I still can't believe it. I shot a Kamehameha, and I... I... The fallen angel, Amano Yuma, saw your sacred gear as a threat, and therefore killed you. So the thing about Yuma-chan and the sacred gear was all real? Then the part where I was killed by her was real too? So Hayo, how am I alive? I'm dead. You called, you called when you were on the verge of death. I was summoned through this paper. Rhea Senpai pulls out a single leaflet. I know that leaflet. Then I was Waiting for Yuma-chan at the meeting spot, one of the people gave out leaflets. Gave me one. Um, yeah, we already went through this. It's a leaflet with a weird magical cycle and a catchphrase that reads, We will grant you your wish. If I look careful, the magic cycle on the leaflet is the same as the big magic cycle on the floor. This is one of the leaflets we give out. This magic cycle is used to summon us devils. There, in these days, there aren't many people who would draw the cycle to summon us, so we give them these leaflets to people who look like they would summon devils. This magic cycle is a safe and a safe and easy to use. That day, one of your fam of our familiars was disguised as a human and was handing them out in the business district. You got it. At the time, Issei, after you were attacked by the fallen angel, you called me with while you were on the verge of death. You wished so hard that it summoned me. Usually my servants, like Akino and the others, would be the ones to be summoned. That time I was impaired by the spear of light? Why spear of light in italics? So I wished really hard? Uh, Hard things, bro. You really had hard things that time. When my hand was covered in blood, the thing that came to mind was crimson. No, 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 please not. I strongly caved for the girl with crimson hair, Rhea Scrabbery. Oh no, there it goes. So, then the person with red hair that appeared at the end of that dream. No, the one that appeared at the end of that incident was Senpai. Oh, God. Jump the shark, maybe. Ah, God damn it! When I was summoned and saw you, I knew right away that you were that you were a sacred gear possessor. Okay, and that you were attacked by a fallen angel. But there was a problem. Issei, you were on the brink of death. Not just devils, but humans also die if they are impaled by a fallen angel's spear of light. Issei. You were in that kind of condition, so I decided to save your life. 
saved my life. So Senpai was the one who helped me. So that's why I'm alive. All through as a devil. Issy, you were reborn as a devil of mine. Rias Grammarie's ser servant. As my, as my servant devil. Oh god, that means that death is practically useless in this universe. More an annoyance than anything. Pah! At that moment, wings spout out from the backs of every of everyone around me. They are different from the black wings of the fallen angels. Their wings are like bad wings. Pah! And I and with that, I also feel some kind of sensation on my back. Looking over my shoulders, I see the same black wings prowling from my back. Are you serious? I am a devil? Did I quit being a human? Drop the title. Let's introduce everyone anew, Yuto. Kiba smiles at me after Ria Senpai calls his name. My name is Kiba Yuto. As you already know, I'm a second year like you, Yuto Isekun. Hmm, I'm a devil too. Nice to meet you. First year, Tojo Koneko. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am a devil too. Tojo Koneko-chan bows her head. Oh my, my name is Himeji Akeno and I'm a third year. I'm also the vice president of this occult research club. Nice to meet you, even through I'm like this. I'm also a devil. Hoo 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 hoo. Himeji Senpai bows her head very politely. Lastly, it's Ria Senpai. She waves her crimson hair and says very directly, I am the master, as well as a being a devil from the house Grammary. Rias Grammary, my house holds the rank of a duke. Let's get all along from now on, Issei. Looks like I'm in a really unthinkable situation. Well, somebody thought about it. End of chapter 1 well, that was a fun little experience, I guess. Or not. I hope the exposition dump wasn't too heavy. Well, it was really simple, so don't worry. So, yeah, what did we learn? Well, devils apparently have wings. Issei's thing was not a dream. And, well, he knows how to make the Kamehameha. That's fun, I guess. So, I hope you join me next time when we jump into Chapter 2 and return to the madness. Until then, I recommend something else to read. Oh, you're still here? That means one of three things. One, you liked what you heard, if that's the case. I recommend that you show that by using the small thumbs up button below. 2. You wanted to see how deep the rabbit hole goes and stayed till the end. In that case, you might want to see how it continues by pressing that subscribe button. Or 3. You fall asleep while listening. I wish you sweet dreams if that's the case and hope you come back for more sleep worthy content. If you want to know something or have issues with what I'm doing, you might want to leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to call me an asshole in the comments. And now for something else. Recommendations. As always, you should check out Blasperus on DeviantArt. He does Vard on the show and had his birthday this week, so happy birthday Blas. Secondly, I recommend the latest episode of HPMP, where we talked about the upcoming E3 2016 and where I was confused with my favorite character from Archer. Make sure to check it out! And the other, maybe even bigger thing, is Blandrew's video on why you should play Nier. This video was taste for so long and now it's finally here. You should definitely check it out. So that was it for this week, hope to see you next Thursday for more... Badness. <laughs>